Alright. Uh, <clears throat> the lighting sucks. I tried to put up a lantern, but... Not a lantern. Light, but it didn't work, but... I'm just making a video on how to make two different types of bombs. And the first one is a piccolo peat bomb. Um, you just need one piccolo peat, and you just pull the fuse out of the top. And then what you do is you either cut it in half or you can just break it in half. Lighting just sucks. To expose the powder that's in there. And what you're going to want to do is just get all the powder out. Usually you don't want pliers. I'll just dig it out with something, I guess. Like these scissors. Alright, so I'm just going to take this all out really quick. And I will be lighting these off in another video. I'll go down to the train tracks. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, cool. You can kind of see it, I think. You're against making this type of stuff, just don't even watch the video. Uh, I just have to get a little bit more for this. I might just make a small one so I can just get this on video. Well, I mean, it films for a while, but I don't want to bore you. Just trying to get it all out really quick. I'm just trying to get this all out of here. Alright, now, it's not a lot. I'll just do a second one really quick. Uh, and I'll show you the next step. So just use two. I'd use two or however many more you want. half or I just cut it part way then break it because that's quicker. All right. Just break it in half. Get all the powder out. It'll just be a bigger explosion if I use two so I'm gonna do that. I'll make a part two for the other bomb and then part three for Setting them off, both of them. Alright, I just have to get a little bit more out right here. Here we go. Alright. So now you have all the powder sitting. Usually you want to use a piece of paper. I'll go grab one in a sec, but you just want to make the powder fine. Just use whatever you have. Just try to get all the chunks out of it. I'm 
not going to take too much time on that for this video, though. Um, let me get a piece of paper. Let's see. Alright. So now, I'm just going to brush it all onto the piece of paper. Now it's all on the paper, then you want to get it all into the middle and crease it. Fold it sideways like that. Have it all be in the middle like that so you can pour it in to the bag. So you're gonna take a Ziploc bag and the water bottle in this part. Where's the scissors? Keep losing everything. There it is. Alright, so. Well, first, you just pour it into the. You want it to all go in the corner of the Ziploc bag, so you're going to pour it into the top. Just pour it into the bag first, just all of it. And you're going to want to make it so it all goes into one corner like that of the Ziploc bag. And you take that corner and you put it into the bottle like that. You just get it in there until it's probably two inches in there. And you cut the top of the bag off probably half an inch above the bottle. It really doesn't even matter. It's going to look something like that. And then... Take the edges of the plastic bag and fold them around the outside of the bottle. So you can screw the lid on. But first, so you have that in the bottle. Then you take a bottle cap and poke a tiny hole in the top, just big enough for the wick to go through it. Right in the center. Well, it doesn't have to be the center, actually. Make it big enough for the wick. And you take that onto the bottle. You can just screw it over the plastic bag actually. It's kind of hard. Just have to get it right. That. I'm just going to do it. I'll just electrical tape it. But it's going to look like that. Something like that. You want to make sure that it's in there good. You have a hole in the top. Then you just put the wick through the hole and make sure it's going all the way down into the gunpowder or firework powder. I really wish I had a longer wick. I'm going to electrical tape two wicks together so it's longer. That's just pretty self explanatory. But yeah, I'll just do that really quick. Alright, I'm going to put the wick in the top, make it going down into the powder. Then I'm going to electrical tape the whole top of the bottle, and you don't have to do that, but it just gets a better seal so that it makes a louder bang and has a better chance of blowing up. We'll 
like 99.9% .9 of the time will blow up every time. Just electrical tape around the cap. Alright, so just gonna cut that off really quick and then show you. Get on to another bomb. Another video though. Alright, so mine looks like that. And I'll light it off later and I'll show you. Alright, I'll make a second one in like five seconds.